Bye bye. So guys, it's very snowy <laughs> and cold, but we're on our way home from church, so we're just going to record this to see what kind of ride we have, okay? This is the Encourage, Queen C No Longer Bound. All right. So, now the roads are looking rather clear. You guys know that we all across the country there's a snow there's a warning out a weather warning out because of the snowstorm that is touching different areas touching the north and I'm in New York Rochester New York guys are gonna see a little bit of shaking because I have the camera balanced um, on my dash but I'm uh, it's not the proper holder for it so when I hit a bump or something, you might see some shaking. But, um, yeah, the expressways are closed up here. And um, at certain places, um, there's whiteouts, as you can see. Now, I, I don't know as I drive along if you'll be able to see the... The white out is when the snow, the wind blows the snow. It's almost like dust. It's the same as dust. If you're in a sandstorm or in a dust storm, and um, when the wind blows it up, you can't see. So that's what this is. So you can see, even see the cars that's meeting me. You see their lights. Yeah, and so what we do, guys, is even though I'm approaching an intersection, I okay there we go sliding sliding slow down and then you make your turn okay very slippery did you see that very slippery very slippery and now I am got four wheel drive I just put my four wheel drive on very slippery it's very slippery at the intersection so I just put my four wheel drive on so me being a country girl I know how to drive in the dirt, the snow, the mud, and definitely, okay, and you'll stop here eventually. Yep, that's what's happening. You gotta get a grab and the rain. So you're not gonna stop on a dime. You gotta bump it and then slow it down and bump it and slow it down. You just don't, if you just think you're just gonna slam right on the brakes or you're just gonna pounce right on the gas it's not gonna happen okay so you're gonna get a rolling start yeah get a rolling start with this guy yeah guys have been driving in this season since October 81 so it's been a long time but it doesn't matter every season is different and you just have to take it easy just gotta take it easy and then you can get a little bit of a roll going that's the way that works and um, I don't mind staying in the slow lane anybody that is in a hurry and they need to go faster. I give them the honors to do whatever they need to do. My my uh, my wish is to make it to my destination safely. That's my wish. So I got just maybe under ten miles that I need to go. So we just. Take our time. Snow plows are not out right now. Um, see the trails from where the vehicles have made. So they've already moved some of the snow through their driving. Yep. Um, it's not so much out here. What it is is the ice patches, the black ice. 
in the ice patches and the reason they call it black ice is because the road is is asphalt is black and then if there's a sheet of ice that's over it you can't see it you can't see the ice so it just looks black but it will be slippery and be, be ice over the top of it that's why we wear um, very good winter boots and um, have very good tires on our, on our vehicles. Now, I have, out of all the years that I've been here, I have never bought chains to go on my tires. I've never needed chains. I know in some of the northern countries, I don't know if that's in Alaska or where that could be, they might use chains on their tires, and that's okay. Um, I've never had to do that here. Uh, usually, for you, you just find a way to go slowly. You know, um, 30, 35. You don't want to be doing 55 and 60 and 70. Some people will be. You might see somebody pass by me in a minute. And they, and they might be doing that. But I'm not going to be doing that today. I'll give them the permission to go right ahead and drive it. Yeah. Yeah. I see the state trooper has already pulled over someone on the other side of the road over there. So it's highly possible they could have been driving dangerously. That's possible. Yeah, it's possible. So, this is just a driving video. It won't be that long. I did one with you the other day. It was my let you see me go to church and come from church. And that was my uh, last Sunday. It was the first stop that camera from shaking on the bumps. Guys, one of the things we get up here a lot is our potholes, potholes, uh, which will really get bad after the winter. Um, the asphalt uh, concrete freezes and then it breaks from the vehicles running over. And I see now everybody here is driving slowly, so I'm going to just fall right in line and uh, follow suit and just drive right along with them. Yep. This is what I'm going to do. And uh, yes, I do have four-wheel drive. Yes, yes, yes. Or all-wheel drive or whatever you want to call it. But I'm comfortable. See the snow? See the white out? Yeah, yeah. You're not seeing that far ahead of yourself there. I've driven in conditions like this many, many, many times. Not um, by choice. That's a pothole. <laughs> not by choice. Well, let me say this. I, I Obviously, I chose to drive. But I'm saying that there was some reason I really needed to go out. I needed to go out. Otherwise, in weather like this, driving-wise... I would not. Now, when we walk, um, if we're bundled up in walking, this is not a problem. It's 21 degrees, but that's not a problem. Um, you got no good boots, you got no good gloves, you got no good coat, you got no good hoodie, you have on, uh, you got some hand warmers, and you are doing, you're fine, you're fine. Um, People are out, they're glad for this. I, I guess they're skiing out at Bristol Mountains up in New York here. Um, I think they were making their snow. And so, but this this is really not enough snow to ski in, I don't think. Uh, I think they would probably add to this. I think they probably would uh, make some powder, yeah, to go to this, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they would um so guys, we're just on the road here because I'm not gonna be shifting the camera around and, and driving. I just
want you to drive along with me, see how the conditions are with me uh, coming home this uh, Sunday after church here. And uh, yeah, yeah, today is January 14th, I believe it is. So we're just, yeah, just taking it easy. appreciate it when I learn to respect it. I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to be getting people uh, license plates here and I don't want to have to edit this video. This video is just raw. Okay. And uh, yeah. It's all raw. You're just accompanying me on my way home. That's what you're doing. And I uh, appreciate your company. Appreciate your company. Yep. Okay. See, it's starting to get a little slush now. Slush up here. So, the plows will probably be coming out any time now. Once the roads start to get this way. Now, the... the Greece Township is where I live, and I'm in Greece now. Um, <clears throat> they are very, very good at keeping our roads salted and and uh, cleared. They are very, very good at it. You can see the sign that says 104 West, and that there is a Eastman Kodak Theater. Okay, as a matter of fact, that's where that guy had all those kerosene cans about a week or so ago and was uh, I never did 
did hear what they say his intentions were, but it didn't happen. It ended up him, <coughs> excuse me, T-boning a car, causing an accident. I think a couple of people were killed and some things of that sort. But the way the article read, it could go either way. You could wonder if he was trying to go there to harm the Kodak company or trying to go there to harm the people going in to see the movie. And nobody knew what his intentions were because he didn't live and they can't, I don't think they could figure it out. <clears throat> but by God's grace, he didn't get to take out as many people, I guess, as he had planned to take out. So that's a good thing. Guys, this is the Encourager Queen C no longer. Boom! And we are on our way home from church. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Right now, it is 11.51. And uh, guys, they're not going to do the Buffalo Bills game uh, tonight. Um, the, uh, the governor canceled that. And so the game will be Monday night, tomorrow night. That will be the game. Well, I won't be watching it because I will be at rehearsal. Now, okay, so I'm going to change lanes now because I will be heading down my side in a minute. Yeah. So, I'm just uh, hoping that the Bills win. Go Bills. Go Bills. I would love for us to go, not only go to the Super Bowl, I would love for us to win the Super Bowl. Yep, I'm a Bills diehard. All right. So, guys, we're getting closer home now. You can see. And uh, now this road out here, these people usually drive pretty swiftly. But I don't think they're going to do an awful lot today. You're going to get a bump because we're going to go across a railroad track. Yep. All right. I am going to go home, I think. I believe I want some nice soup. I think that's what I want. I think I want me some nice hot soup. I think that would be good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Not sure what all kind of soup I need. Yeah, give a shout out to Progressive. I like Progressive soup. So we're going to go in this way today. Usually I go in a different way. But because of it being so slippery, I'm going to take this way. Because I have less of a hill to tackle down at the end. Yeah. Yeah, less of a hill to tackle. So small hill, but not a hill that is as slippery as the one on the other side. A couple of potholes here. <laughs> yep. See the trucks and see the houses. See people coming out. Moving about slowly this Sunday. Yep. They're probably, probably being hunkered down. Probably getting in and hunkering down. Alright guys, so this is where I'm turning. You can see the salt truck just down at the end of the street. It's putting salt out. And we're going to see you right here next time. <laughs>